Hi booktube, my name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Knitter. Happy Friday everybody, welcome to a Friday Reads. Today is the 14th of May and it is about 9.30 in the morning. I am here with my coffee this morning in my broomstick coffee mug and I'm here to sit and chat with you guys. So, um, in this video um, I am going to show you, share with you what I'm reading today. Um, and I'm going to, of course, as I've been doing like every week, and I love you guys doing this and kind of joining in on the fun with me, I will be asking you guys to pick me my next book to read. And then I have a book haul. So thank you everyone who watched my um, channel announcement video. I know it was, there wasn't like a huge announcement, nothing at all like that, but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the changes and, and stuff like that. Not like there's any, going to be anything seriously noticeable. The other change that happened, just so you guys know, is to my um, uh, supporters. So um, the membership. So there's the join button just down below. I did change the pricing on that um, because... I don't know if I'm going to be able to be as involved in that. Like, I still want to do stuff with that group. Like, there's going to be special videos. Um, there is probably going to be at least one live chat a month. But there's a lot more that I had in the works in my own head that I wanted to do that I don't know if I'm going to have time with this whole going back and doing this course for work um, thing. So I lowered the price. It was $2.99 a month. Now it's only $1.99 a month. And that's Canadian. So a little bit cheaper for my American friends. So... Just want to, to point that out. Um, I will be posting things in there, asking you guys to pick books from me for the month of June. Um, and if you have any video requests, and a lot of you gave some great video requests in that video as well. And I've kept track of all of them, and I am really excited to get to them in the months to come. So thank you again so very, very much for watching that. But a lot of you did say that you really want to see a book haul with my Friday reads. So I'm going to do that as well, because I did buy some books this week. <laughs> And so let's start off with what I am currently reading. So today, this morning, actually, I'm going to finish reading Crazy Stupid Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. This is the third book in the Bromance Book Club series. And you guys, this just may be my favorite. I am loving it. Um, I don't want to talk too much on it because, well, I mean, even though it's third in the series, you could absolutely read it as a standalone. They really don't get into what happened in the previous two books. They're definitely more companion novels, in my opinion. Although I definitely think the fourth book, which is coming out this summer, June or July, I think it's July, um, Isn't It Bromantic? is the fourth book, and it's The Russian Story. For those of you who have read through this series, it's The Russian Story, and I'm so excited. I used one of my Audible credits, and I did pre-order the audiobook, so I do have the ebook from NetGalley, but I'm gonna wait, because I do love the narration on these, and I love the way the guy narrates the Russian's voice. So um, I think to read book four, you would have to have read the first three, because it kind of builds, like his story kind of builds off those first three books. Um, and I do kind of like it when, when authors do that. It, it's fun. It's, and it's the one character you look forward to. In a way, I look at it like the Cletus book from the Winston brothers, how, you know, you kind of really met Cletus in the first couple books and you kind of really fell in love with him. And then he got his own book and it was so exciting. <laughs> I feel the same way about the Russian in this series. Um, but yeah, but outside, I mean, it's not even about him, but I'm going on about him. Um, so this is Noah and Alexis's story. And they, um, she runs a cafe called Toe Beans and she has a giant cat named Beefcake and, um, her and Noah have been friends for years and now it's going to become like a friend's, like they decide to, to go from friends to lovers, which is always difficult, uh, because like, you know, you don't want to lose the friendship. She's kind of got a lot going on in her life, um, with found family, a dad she didn't know that, I mean, she knew she had a dad, but she didn't know who he was. And it deals with a lot, like these books, like as fun and as adorable these, as these covers are and as light as you think these books are going to be, they do deal with some very heavy topics and I do love the way it's done. So I am really looking forward to getting this one done. And like I said, this one I think so far is my favorite in the series. So um, I did actually end up DNFing a book. I ended up DNFing the rest of the series yesterday. So for those of you who've been watching this month, I am trying to work my way through different series that I have already started. And one of the series that I picked for the month of May was the Graydon series by Jill Sanders. So I had read the first two books and then earlier this month I read books three and four. And 
I'm not going to talk too much about book four because I will talk about it in my weekly reads because I just finished it this week. However, because of reasons, I decided that I was done with the series. I just, I feel like she's, the, the series is good. It's cute. It's very sexy, which, you know, that's fine. Um, but I just feel like the situations that these characters get in are so over the top that it just becomes that point of unbelievable, if that makes sense. Um, she deals with some very, like, like I said about Romance Book Club, there are some difficult topics in there. However, it's also an almost 400 page book and you have a lot more time to explore the characters. These Jill Sanders books come in at around 200 and some odd pages, 250 pages. And like the audiobook is four hours long. So really you're not getting as much character development now. Granted, it's, it's like part of a series. So you're reading through, you kind of meet these characters at other points, but I just, I got two chapters into it last night and I'm just like, no, I'm just not feeling it. So I DNF'd it. I just removed it from my Goodreads. I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to the series. Maybe one day I will go back and finish those last three, but for right now, no, I'm done. So instead, the next book I plan on picking up on ebook, I didn't pick up anything else yesterday after those two chapters, I just kind of needed a break, was um, A Brambleberry Summer by Ryan Thane. This actually doesn't come out till July, I think. July or August. I'm not absolutely certain, but I do have this as an e art copy from the publisher from Harlequin and NetGalley, so thank you. And there is a reason that I am reading this now, um, and it's for the podcast, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Um, and yeah, I don't know too much about it. It's the sixth book, I think, in the Brambleberry House series. Um, and yeah, I am really, really looking forward to getting to it. So pick me a book, you guys. After I finish Brambleberry Summer, what should I read next? Um, so you have two choices. So the first choice is a book that my subscribers or my, not my subscribers, my supporters picked, um, one of the two books that my supporters picked. And it is, um, I do have the physical copy, but I don't have it anywhere near me. And that is She Dreamed of a Cowboy. And this is by uh, Joanna Sims. This was recommended for me to read. So I do want to get to this one this month, before the end of the month, I should say. But uh, should it be the next one that I pick up, do let me know. The other option is also cowboy related. And I... You know, I, I think I'm being influenced by a lot of you guys that are mood readers, and I was kind of looking at what was on my TBR, and I'm like, and then I remembered this book, and I'm like, oh, I I wanted, this book came out in January, and I wanted to get to it back in January, and I'm like, why am I not just picking it up? So the other choice, but I, again, this is one I want to get to before the end of the month, is A Good Old Fashioned Cowboy, and this is an anthology, and it's by Maisie Yates, Caitlin Cruz, Jackie Asherton, and Nicole Helm. So this is the second in a series. This Jasper, is it Jasper something or other? Um, Jasper Creek series. So the first one <clears throat> came out in December of 20, or December, January of 2020, I think, and it was called The Cowboy for All Seasons. So it was by these same four authors, and it was about four, were they sisters or cousins? I can't remember, but it essentially follows the course of an entire year with these four, I think it was cousins, and they stay at this, their, their grandmother's, like their grandmother's house, and the grandmother has passed away and they each need to spend a season there and it's how each of them finds romance. So this one takes place in the same small town and it's four best friends. And it says four best friends return home to find more than they ever dared dream of in this delightful quartet. Um, so yeah. So when they were girls, they were best friends and now they're all back and you're going to get these four little short stories. So, and I love that this is one of those, um, paperback max, I think they're called. So it's just like a floppy mass market. I love them. So yeah, I really want to get to this one. So I have a feeling I know which one you guys are going to pick for me, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to all of you in the in the in the comments below. It will be a cowboy story next, so that's a good thing. I mean, granted, I want to get to both of these before the end of the month. However, it's which one should I pick up next? And I think I'm going to need some cowboy cheering up tomorrow because I am getting my vaccine tomorrow. And I'm a little nervous because most people I've heard from are like, yeah, I was fine. My arm was sore for like a day. No big deal. But my husband wasn't. My husband was ill for a few days. Like, just achy and tired and then my manager said the same thing and I've heard it from other people that they got sick I'm just like really nervous about that so I mean here's hoping fingers crossed that that will not happen to me so before I get into my book haul I do have another haul of sorts and that is a um 
a, a bookmark haul. So I just finally got these in the mail. I ordered them sometime in April, but we've had some issues with Canada Post. It was no fault of the seller at all. Um, our Canada Post facility um, in the West End, from the West End of the city, um, that handles a lot of the incoming mail from the U.S. or from overseas, they had a huge COVID-19 outbreak. So I guess that they, like were delayed on delivery. Like I'm slowly starting to get packages now. I didn't get anything for a couple of weeks. So this is from my favorite, favorite, favorite um, bookmark seller, SJ Wonderlands. And she actually sends you, her business card is a bookmark. Is that not awesome? So yeah, I'll leave a link to her, um, her shop. She used to be on Etsy. She now has her very own storefront. So I will, uh, like website. So I will leave a link to that below for you guys because her bookmarks are a delight. And I, like I have, right there. I have a coffee cup filled with her bookmarks, like filled. Every time she has new ones come out, I go ahead and buy them because they're really cute and very affordable. So she had a summertime series that she put out and I got all five of them. So these are just like, you know, single colored, but they're all really cute. So this one says between the pages of a book is where I would like to be. There's that one. And then we have time to soak up the sun and read. Love that. Love, love, love. This one I love, Namaste, Namaste in Bed and Read. <laughs> and I love the, uh, the um, that's absolutely beautiful. Mandala, Mandala, is that what it's called? Really pretty. I do yoga, I should know these things. Um, I don't know if I should have to know that. Um, and it says, Dear Weekend, we should hang out more. <laughs> I, can, I concur. And the last one for the summer series is, I was made for sunny days and new books. So yay on all of those. And then I got, um, this one I just thought was really cute. Read what you love and love what you read. I mean, how perfect is that, right? I love it. And then the last two I did get, um, I believe these are both Bridgerton related. I know the one is definitely Bridgerton related, but I think this one is too. And it says, no one knows as well as I how much nonsense is printed in books. Maybe it's not. No, I think it's Bridgerton because it's got the B. It's got the little B and that's like the Bridgerton thing, so... Yay on that one. And then the last Bridgerton one, I had to get a lady whistle down one. And it says, Dear Reader, let it be known that if there is a scandal, I shall uncover it and share every last detail. Love it. So those, that is my bookmark haul. So like I said, I will leave a link below um, so you guys can check her stuff out for yourself. Now, on to the book haul. So I've got some information up here so I know what I'm showing you guys. Um, so first off, back on the 11th, which was, what day was the 11th? Uh, let me look at my calendar, Tuesday. Tuesday I got an email from Harlequin. Hey, we're having an ebook sale. And I said, hey, take my money. Um, <laughs> so it was, if you spent $25, you got $10 off. So $15 for $25 worth of books. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. So here's the ones that I got. Of course, I will show you guys the pictures of them here. So the first one, so these are all eBooks. Um, I am really, I have so many physical books. And I mean, you guys can't even see the third shelf that I have full of physical Harlequin books. I legit don't have room anymore. So for the time being, anything that I order from Harlequin is probably going to be an eBook, which I'm fine with. I've learned to accept the fact that I'm going to have to read them off of their app. And it's not that I don't like the app. I think the app is fantastic, to be completely honest. I've never had a problem with it. My issue is the fact that I'm reading it off a tablet and I do not like the bright screen and glare because I spend all day staring at a computer. I prefer my Kindle, Oasis, and my Kobo. But to get cheaper ebooks, I will, I will suck it up and use the app. So the first one, this is an older book. I don't know when it was originally published, um, but this is a classic by Heather Graham, they say. It's called Strangers in Paradise. It's only available like this, like reprinted on an ebook. You can't get a physical edition of it, unfortunately. So I do not know, like I said, when it was originally published, but this is a reprint and I just love her old stuff. Um, this is probably one that she wrote back for the, um, back when it was Silhouette Love Inspired not love inspired. <laughs> Good Lord. Silhouette intimate moments. It's probably back when she did, when she wrote for the intimate moments series. So I got that one. The next one that I got is another reprint available on ebook only. And this is, I believe, yeah, it's part of the fortunes of Texas return to red rock series. And this is called change of fortune. And it's by the great, of course, Rianne Thane. I love that cover. You guys like that total summer fair, like there's the Ferris wheel. And, oh, the cover jumped out at me and I'm like, okay, I will read this. So, um, 
uh, best selling. Okay, so this was originally published as Fortune's Woman. So now it's called Change of Fortune. So again, I don't know when the original was published, but um, I did get that one. The next one, um, this is a uh, June 2021 release. Again, on the Harlequin website, for those of you who don't know, ebooks and print books, if the book is slated for a June release, meaning it does not hit your bookstores, your Walmarts, your Barnes and Nobles, until the 1st of June, you can get them on the Harlequin website as of the 1st of May. So it's always a month ahead. So like July's books will be available on the Harlequin website on June 1st. So I think all the rest of these are June releases. So this one I have here is Traces of Murder, uh, Connor County Traces of Murder, and this is by Rachel Lee, again, coming out in June. This is the 47th book in the Connor County series, <laughs> which this author has written alone. Like, she's the only author for these Connor County series books. You don't have to read these in any kind of order. Um, but yeah, I, I really like her writing, so I picked that one up. And I do love the Intrigue novels. Um, the next one I got, I just love the cover on this one. It's called uh, Hollywood X Factor, and it's by Sherry Whitefeather. This is book one in the LA Women series. Again, a June release, a desire book. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, next up, this one I heard about from Brie. Um, my um, cohort on the uh, Categorically Romance podcast, and she bought, and she's read this author, I think, and she was really, she really enjoyed it. So I got, this is also a June release. Um, a fire, a family for the firefighter, and this is by Jacqueline Thomas. So this one looks really, really cute. I do love a good firefighter story. Um, next up, okay, this is not a. Okay, this came out in 2020, but it's I think a reprint of a Laurie Foster book. Um, and sorry, I'm just looking at the kind of notes I have here. So this is Jax by Laurie Foster, and this is the first book in the Buckhorn Brothers series. Um, again, reprint. I don't know what this was originally printed as. Like, I can't remember. I think she wrote for Temptation. So it might be an old Temptation novel. I don't know. Um, but yeah, reprint. It was on sale for 99 cents, you guys. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy you. Because I think I was adding books to my cart for that, you know, spend 25, get $10 off. And I was at like $24.95. <laughs> so I went and looked for a 99 cent ebook <laughs> just to push myself over so I could get the $10 off. Because that's what we do, people. That's what we do. Um, the next one, um, this came out in September of 2020, but I am collecting the, these books. I do prefer them in physical format, but I thought, why not? I'll try one out on as an ebook. And this is Sutton's Way by Diana Palmer. This is part of the best selling author collection series. So this is a bind up of two full length novels. Um, bear with me. They are, physically, they look like this. So they're pretty thick, like they're two full length novels. Um, let's all just enjoy that cover just for a second, shall we? Happy Friday, everybody. Um, so, <laughs> so like I said, Sutton's, uh, Sutton's, Play, Sutton's Way by um, Diana Palmer. The other book in here is by Maisie Yates and it's The Rancher's Baby, which I'm pretty sure I've read. So I would only need to read the Diana Palmer one, but still I do like having these because it's a great value. It was $6 um, for two books. So, you know, you can't really beat that price. Um, and then the last four books I bought just today on Friday, um, because today's sale was buy four books, get 40% off. And again, take my money. So I got four more books that come out in June and uh, I got Redemption on Rivers Ranch by Kathy Douglas. This is book nine in the Sweet Briar Sweethearts series. Look at that cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll list all these books below for you guys. Um, the next one was Love Inspired Suspense, and this is Cold Case Trail by Sherry Stover. Um, and this is not part of a series, but uh, Man and His Police Dog. I kind of love it. Oh, the police dog has a bandage on his paw. Okay, now I want to know why. What happened? What happened to the puppy? Beautiful dog. We have someone in our neighborhood who has one of these, a German Shepherd, and they're just gorgeous. I always said to Garrett, if I got a dog, I want a big dog. I want a Shepherd or I want a, um, a Labrador or something like that. Um, although I do love a good mutt. I absolutely love a good mutt because they need love too. Uh, next up, I got another Desire novel. Um, and this one is also a June release and it's Seduction Southern Style by Cat Shield. Look at that cover. 
the Desire novels just kill it with the covers. They're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So this is part of, I love the, the name of the series, the Sweet Tea and Scandal series. It's book number five. So yeah, so I picked that one up. And last but not least, I least, excuse me, I got a Harlequin romance novel, yay. Um, and this is by a Canadian author. So this is Wedding Reunion with the Best Man by Donna, um, Donna Alward. Like I said, she is Canadian. This is book three in the Heirs to an Empire series. She doesn't write books necessarily. Some of her old Harlequin historical or Harlequin romance novels are set in Canada, but I don't know how many of her current ones are. But uh, yeah, so... I am looking forward to getting to that one. Very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, so that is my book haul. So that's it, you guys. A little bit of a longer Friday reads, but you know, was a book haul. So again, in the comments below, let me know. Should I read the Joanna Sims cowboy book? Um, I closed it now. Should I read the Joanna Sims cowboy book or the Maisie Yates and Cruz, a good old fashioned cowboy? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you're reading today and this weekend. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.